the standing that they've gone with a 4-5-1. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too and that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. So that's got things on the way. And he's on a charge. Well, try as they might, they just couldn't get into an attacking area. Battles to win it back. He's having a look round. That's a promising ball. Time to deliver. Very little to choose between them, but... Oh, shooting chance! It's in! The breakthrough strike! Oh, what a cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Tries to get it forward quickly. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Place it into the box. Strong punch. They get a throw in. Coming up to half-time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that.
And it's the whistle for half time. Well, there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Leading 1 0 at the break. Well, the action has already resumed here. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. He's got it on the right now. What's on? Hoists it forward. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. So who's he picking out? Has a pop! They've played it short. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, I'm inclined to feel that if I was in that dugout, I'd want the players to, to get on the front foot and grab another. Just try to, to make this one safe. Well, well played, he saw that coming. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal. And he didn't go for the back heel. And it's played forward. Oh, that's a fine challenge. They've managed to get it away. Looking to hit the front line. And that has been cleared. Forward it goes. One nil as we head towards the end. Plays it out to the flank. This is good ball retention and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. There's only one word for this, it's baffling. That team needs to figure out where the ball needs to be, and it's not there. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Just brushed off the ball there. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Final checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Terrific contest, it really might have tipped either way, the margins were tiny, just a goal in it, but that was enough. 
So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, Peter, I'm sure a more comfortable margin would have been preferable, but you can't expect to get your way all the time. I think it was a win earned through game management, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening.